Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in when it appears of white light and pray and stay, ask that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, so we have a queen of swords within a community that may have told a masculine or an entire community that you are mentally ill. Um, and this would probably have people looking at you in some type of way. Um, so you may be working like a position if you are still at this company, or maybe you were working a position this woman didn't want you in, or maybe you had an offer coming to you, or you have an offer coming to you that this person does not want you having. Um, so she will have gotten on some type of smear campaign. This is like defamation of character. This is a defamation of character that's going to lead to some type of huge financial loss for an institution. Um, it may end up putting an institution out of business. Um, but this woman has been doing something very meticulously behind the scenes. And because she doesn't want the truth coming out, she's been hiring people behind the scenes to to shut you down, to shut you up, to block you, block your work opportunities, block your finances, block you from being seen and heard, block you from connecting with anyone. Um, but the truth is out. Someone may know the truth now, or maybe whoever she was talking to knows that you are not mentally ill. Uh, so they may want to come together to work with you. But this woman is very desperate behind the scenes to keep something hidden, to hide something. Uh, she doesn't want people to find out. This is a queen of source, okay? Just like I said, she does not want people to find out what it is she's been up to behind the scenes. And this is something she's been doing for a long time. You could be in a, uh, in a uh, an institution and you probably don't even mess with anyone. You just mind your business. But this woman has made it her personal business to destroy your life from behind the scenes. Because she don't, she don't want and defame you in a really horrendous way she didn't just tell one person that you are mentally ill she told a whole group of people even like the lower levels uh lower level employees within a community they told them they said you are mentally retarded mentally ill they should not take anything you said seriously you're just a joke something of that nature or you were working with this woman before it doesn't have to be something that's now but i think there's something in regards to this that's coming up uh, so either you're working with this company now or you worked with this company before, something will be brought to your attention. There is a masculine within this institution that this woman brought uh, this to. I don't know if she sent like a message, an email or something of that nature. She does not want this man coming to you because she knows some type of truth is going to come out here. He already knows you're not mentally retarded. He knows whoever this is that she's afraid of coming towards you. He knows you're not mentally retarded. You could be someone that is, uh, maybe you're spiritual with the temperance card out here. Someone highly spiritual. Maybe this masculine was not aware of spiritual people. Maybe he wasn't aware of spirituality as much as he is today. Maybe there's something like that is playing out. But maybe whatever it was, whatever it is, this man is figuring out that you are not mentally ill. Or maybe he knows and he just went underground with these people to see what it is that they were up to. To understand how they operate. She does not want this person having some type of emotions for you. This is someone every time he tries to uh, come towards you, she manipulates him with words. All right, She talks him out of it. She causes an ending. But whatever she's been doing is a failure because this man knows the truth and he'll still be coming towards you to balance something out, to heal something, fix something. I think maybe this man may have participated in something before um, and maybe it has come, it has uh, came back to bite him in the behind. Maybe he had a hand in trying to control or keep something that, that belongs to you or destroy something that belongs to you and maybe he feels bad about this whatever this is it is going to lead to a court case 
and this woman will end up paying quite a lot of money through this institution and it's going to lead to something where she gets fired and blacklisted out of an industry or just overall not being able to work at all in her community may have to relocate uh may end up having to pay this company company back for all of the money that she cost them because what i'm seeing is that this is a woman that was in an institution for a very long time she was more than likely there or she has been there long before you arrive at this institution. So whatever she would have said to these people about you, they would have believed because this is someone that carries herself as a pillar of the community. This is someone more than likely you were immediately working under. This would have been like a manager or a supervisor um, that did this to you. And she would have told a whole lot of people in this community that she had a click with that you were mentally ill and they would have started treating you or they are treating you in some type of a sense as far as oh well that's maria maria is mentally ill which is going to be gentle with her uh you know and they don't know that you're not mentally ill you don't have any mental illness what it is is that this woman is doing things to you behind the scenes to make you seem mentally ill and now she's been paying someone repeatedly to destroy your finances because she wants you in some type of bind. it's like an orchestrated thing taking place behind the scenes it's a queen of swords reverse is a queen of pentacles reverse is a queen of wands reverse queen of cups reverse and a group of masculines has been coming after one feminine energy to destroy them and it all started with this queen of swords reverse defaming you and because you will have more than likely because i see the five of pentacles out here you you will have left an institution she would have then gotten out of her way to contact people in your new community if you are leaving or if you already left to tell them that you are mentally ill and to keep away from you to not take you seriously to not collaborate with you and she's afraid of a king of pentacles collaborating with you now trying to cause failures trying to cause blockages trying to keep him confused or trying to keep him guessing like uh should i go towards this person should i not go towards this person it's because this woman is lying to him and telling him that you are something that you're not. Basically, you're mentally ill. You're mentally unstable. Okay, this is something this woman has been telling people for a long time. And because the truth is out, no one is listening to her anymore. He may not even be listening to her. The truth is out about you. You are a temperance energy. Uh, something is also out that whoever she's been lying to will be leaving an institution, uh, bringing something to your attention in due time. This is something she's been trying to stop, trying to block him, but she does it in a way where it's that she's advocating for him, trying to make sure that she knows that he's looking, she's looking out for him. She ain't looking out for you. She got secrets to hide. That's why she doesn't want you coming to work someone whoever this divine feminine is she does not want you coming towards this other woman because she's been defaming this person and if you go towards this person they're going to find the truth out that she was lying on them defaming them to a whole organization right this is defamation of character and this is not something this woman is woman is going to get away with this is a whole institution that's about to be at the mercy of one person because another individual decided to destroy them okay and she's been doing this i'm telling you the death card she's trying to put an end to some type of meeting taking place between you and someone she wants it to be a failure okay but the truth is out okay something is being looked into a uh, community is being looked into all of their plans all the actions that's been taken behind the scenes to get you to self-sabotage or trying to sabotage you as well everything is being looked into and this woman here is in some hot water hot, hot fire there's a man within another community i don't know if this is a king of pentacles reverse that she contacted um, and, uh, uh, smear your character to him, spoke very ill of you to him, and he will have one from taking you seriously, wanting to work with you, to treating you all kinds of ways. Maybe she made him some type of financial payment behind the scenes to destroy you. So she will be the one telling him from behind the scenes what to do, how to do it, uh, when to do it. This is someone that's very bitter, someone very wicked, just malicious, a very malicious energy someone may have even been thinking about coming towards you to give you some type of friendship or something just to make it look like you two are friends this woman is not your friend this is not your friend okay someone is very jealous of you is very insecure because you are an empress energy but you're very young is what i'm picking up on you're a very young energy and it bothers this woman 
She does not want people seeing you as an empress, and she says she refuses to accept you as an empress. Like you give a damn who this person is and who their opinion is of you. This is someone insecure at her age. She still hasn't learned maturity. I have to mind her business, stay in her lane. This is someone that doesn't know how to stay in their lane. And this woman is under judgment, stands to lose everything. Someone is about to step right into poverty for what it is she did to you. And while she's stepping into poverty, you are stepping into abundance. There could be a masculine. I don't know if this is a Sagittarius or whoever this is, a Leo or Aries. It don't got to be. It's just coming out in the reading. That's going to be balancing something out for a family, wants to work with a family. Uh, someone may have been also working with a family before against a queen of wands, but maybe he's choosing to balance things out now, fix things, because something has been illuminated. The truth has been illuminated about you. Um, yeah, this woman is under judgment. Just like I said, the judgment card landed right under her. Someone is under judgment. Uh, someone may want to ask for forgiveness. You don't got no communications to have with this person. This is a lawsuit up front, okay? Um, it didn't know if ands or buts about it. Lawsuit, court case, and she's gonna lose. That's a big yes. She's gonna lose. Okay, this whole institution, she has uh compromised this into institution. There's something someone did so craftily that it would seem like a whole institution was a part of it, but it wasn't a whole institution that was a part of it. It was her uh gathering up the minions, gathering up people to come up against you for no reason. You don't even know why these people are coming up against you. You had to brave yourself through something. So this is like you come to work every day and people are doing funny things to you or people are saying stupid things to you or maybe people are just changing. Like you come in one day, you're friendly with them. The next day you come in, they don't want to talk to you. That's because someone we have gotten in, got into them behind the scenes and told them that you are mentally ill, uh, you're unstable. You're emotionally manipulative. You're all these things. You're dishonest. You're a liar. But she will have set things up to make it look like you were actually what she was saying that you were. Someone may have even been compromising or is compromising your work. Okay? This is her doing things from behind the scenes in the system. Um, I don't know what kind of position you're working. Uh, it may have, because I see a lot of uh, cups cars out here. You may be something that someone is either into hospitality, into spirituality, into some type of uh, medical or uh, healthcare field, something of that nature, right? So this will have been like a manager, a boss, a supervisor, administrator, whatever it is that will have been doing this or is doing this to you. And she's headed right for poverty as well. There's someone from your past, okay? You have quite a, a lot of people with their eyes on you trying to take you down. You And this is because this woman collaborated with a lot of people. This woman collaborated with an ex of yours. You would have still been with this person or you are still with this person. She reached out to this person to collaborate with her to make it seem like you are mentally ill. And he went along with it. And whatever he went along with has led him straight into poverty. Someone is losing everything. Maybe, yeah, someone is going through a tower. He is going through a tower. Okay. Excuse me. Some of my cars are facing up. Let me fix them uh, really quickly. But there's a, someone from your past that is going through a tower, maybe going through a court case, maybe going through poverty. And this is all for something that he did to you and has been doing to you, trying to destroy you, trying to sabotage you, trying to prove that you are someone that is mentally ill. You are someone that is very wicked. You are someone that is... a. Uh, 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 conniving, manipulative. He went along with this plot with this woman to make you seem something that you're not. And it's something that has come back to backfire him. There could be some type of conflict going on within an institution or a group of friends that came together to defend you. And now something is backfiring because they've still been very determined to block your abundance, block something from being given to you, block some type of karma, good karma from playing out. Um, so they've been making choices behind the scenes to block communications. They don't want this masculine communicating with you. Whatever form of communication he's trying to use to get in contact with you, he's not able to. You don't have access to that. I see someone going in emails. This woman here, this queen of swords reverse in a community, going through emails within someone's system, someone's personal emails, not just one account, but multiple accounts that she's going through to make sure 
that you don't receive some type of offer. You don't receive some type of opportunity. So she's been doing quite a whole lot and then telling people that you're not responding. Or this woman is so conniving, she's been uh, accessing your email and pretending like you are the one communicating with her when you haven't communicated with this woman in I don't know how long. Even if you are still at this company, you haven't been communicating with this woman at all whatsoever. So someone has been talking to themselves, I'm telling you. She has been talking to herself or pretending like you have been the one talking to her. You don't talk to this person. I'm telling you, it's a one-sided thing. Someone's gonna have to cut cut someone's gonna have to cut their losses um and leave this institution because there's some type of court case coming up coming up and it's gonna cost this institution quite a lot of money. Okay? Uh, whatever this woman got herself into is about to backfire. Someone may even know that she's in the tower with some type of judgment out. May want to cut her losses and move on because something is about to backfire. Someone may want to communicate to you that uh, they betrayed you. They're sorry for betraying you. You're not going to get that communication. Uh, they may have went and partner up with a queen of wands. I don't know if they got married or got in some type of long-term commitment with a queen of wands. Now something has backfired. They want to uh, communicate to you to let you know about a plot to take you out or some type of betrayal they may have done. And they themselves are going through some type of karma. Uh, so I don't think you really care what it is that's going on behind the scenes because you're not really worried about what these people are doing because Source is taking care of it. Something is being balanced out. It's this whole thing where it's that some people, they will be older than you, but they like maturity. And they're very like insecure within themselves okay so they meet you you're young and vibrant because you're out here showing up as a queen of wands as well you're young and vibrant very mature for your age you tend to kind of just overlook things and because you tend to overlook and dismiss people's uh immature behaviors you know when they come to you with disrespect you kind of just tend to overlook overlook it she will have mistaken that like someone mistaking your kindness for weakness basically is what I'm picking up on. She mistaking your kindness for weakness. So she decided, oh, well, I'm going to tell people she's mentally retarded. I'm going to stop this offer, stop uh, things from being balanced out with her and cause her a lot of failures, cause him a lot of failures, block this union from taking place with the union and being blocked. Whoever's trying to come to or she will contact you, will get in contact with you in due time, okay? So everything she was planning or plotting against you is a failure. Someone has just put themselves in some type of fender bender that's that's gonna be very horrendous like she's still trying she's still telling someone to keep going and this is something that's going to end up being like really embarrassing because it's gonna come out in a court case that she kept telling someone to keep going whoever this is that's helping this woman you may want to walk away because the truth is out there's a lawsuit that's coming for this woman in this institution. I don't think the whole institution is a part of it. What I think it is that it is is that this woman orchestrated to something to a point where it seems like an entire institution is in on something. They're not. It's this woman and the people she got in on it. It's not the whole institution. So when something comes up, you may want to walk away now because this is not something that you, she's going to be able to uh, argue because there's some type of proof that it is out where it's like there's no way around it. It's like it's going to be like you said this person sent this email, but it looks like they didn't even have access to this account when this email was sent. So how did they send this email? How are you saying that they sent this email? And what's going to happen is that someone's, uh, the background of that email is going to be picked up. Who, like what IP address did this email come from? It's not going to be the light worker. The temperance energy is not going to be their IP address. It's going to be her IP address. And I don't know if someone maybe had a VPN on where they felt comfortable that they could do something and it would never be found out. But it's a bunch of women, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, that has been uh, working 
diligently to destroy someone from behind the scenes. And these are people that bully from behind the scenes, thinking that it'll never be found out. But something has backfired. And because they know the truth is coming out, they've been taking even more reckless and malicious actions to block the truth from coming out. But it's already out. Okay? The truth is out about a betrayal. Uh, there could be another plan to end you, take you out, because they don't want this coming out full of uh full blown like because they know when it comes out maybe they're in some deep trouble and whoever is in the court system they ain't helping this person this is like you go to a lawyer and say can you help me with this they said no i can't help you with that because they know off the bat you lost the court case already this is one of those situations okay so uh whatever honey you got yourself into you may want to fall back from it whoever this is that's been working with you uh, to end someone because you got out here and defamed someone for no reason, no reason at all, trying to hide them and shut them up. It's like someone trying, try, it's just, excuse me, it's like someone attacking you from behind the scenes, but they don't want you defending yourself. So they pay people and take actions to shut you up, hide you, block you, destroy you. Because they don't want people to find the truth out that they are a freaking liar. But they want to keep walking around pretending that they are in the upright. Someone is very malicious and wicked. I mean, this level of wickedness, and she's very determined to keep going with something. But just as determined as she is to keep some type of malicious uh, narr narrative going on, malicious defamation going on, someone else in this community is determined to balance something out, and they will be balancing it out. You will be moving on, okay? Uh, listen, I don't know what to tell this woman. Ain't no apology you can give that's going to stop what's coming. Don't nobody want your apology, okay? Whoever you're trying to intimidate, I don't know if she's trying to intimidate this king of pentacles from coming towards you. That man ain't paying you no mind. Someone is very much self-master, okay? Maybe a man has been self-master and nobody knew he was self-master. No one knew that he was in control of himself. He's not low vibrational or insecure like the rest of you. Uh, but someone knows the truth. And he stands for the truth. And he's going to be doing the right thing. Okay? Uh, this is a different level of wickedness. Like, people are about to see a woman for who she is. This is one of those women in a community. You look at them. You say, I've never heard anything bad about you from one person. And that's because someone is very... Uh, are um crafty with how they do things. They they get other people to do their dirty deeds, their dirty work, so then it never comes back to them. So while little Susie is in the field doing her dirty work, little Susie is being looked at as the crazy one, as the one that's imbalanced, as the rude one, the mean one. But this little Miss Queen of Swords Reverse is in the background acting like she don't know anything about what's going on. She has nothing to do with it. Has an explanation ready for you when you ask her about it. But Miss here is worried. She's burdened about something being looked into. How she's been causing endings, failures for a Queen of Cups. Trying to block destiny from playing out. Causing a lot of stagnations and stillness and conflict about this Queen of Cups that's in the upright. Not wanting you to have wish fulfillment. Trying to destroy your work, your determination, and your discipline discipline trying to block an offer from coming into you and keeping you in some type of self-sufficient energy don't want you receiving some type of uh, uh, offer she has a problem with your confidence someone wants you to be put in your place as in this this is someone with an elitist mindset because she's showing up as a queen of cups reverse this is someone with an elitist mindset she believes that she's better than you it because of her social standing, how much money she has, uh, so she thinks she's better than you. There's also something about bigotry when it comes to this woman. She is one of those people that looks at people and judges them by their color, but the community that she's in has a lot of people of color within that community, but she has learned how to tolerate, is what I'm hearing. She has learned how to tolerate people within this community so that she can get by. This is someone that feels uncomfortable every day coming to work and dealing with a lot of people that are this color, uh, Asians, Hispanic, whatever it is. If they in from the mountains of Caucasus, she got a problem with them. Let me put it that way, okay? So it's not just because you are this color. It's because you're not from the mountains of Caucasus. Something is over absolutely over 
someone has made a decision to end something, to put an end to something, okay? Um, someone sees you as very determined, very hardworking, and it has this woman ba uh, bother. You could have a king of pentacles out here that's worried about a king of wands. I don't know what this has to do with Maybe you have people that want to work with you, and she's been blocking these offers. Everything is going to come out. This woman, baby, you're about to be in some hot water. No one's going to be able to save you. Whoever this man is, that's been, I don't know if there's someone in the court system. Maybe you tried to make something legal, tried to make someone seem mentally ill legally to get away with something. You ain't getting away with it. Whoever has been helping you behind the scenes, they want you to know if something comes out, they ain't helping you no more. They ain't even stepping in to defend you or nothing. Whoever the lawyers are in your company, they won't be able to save you. I don't care how corrupt they are. Uh, how corrupt they are supposed to be. They cannot help you. Something is like a like a, a star sea wing with flying colors. This is going to be something where when it even starts, these lawyers are going to be laughing. They think something is funny. Something is a joke. And then when it gets serious, they'll be asking, can we talk to you? Uh, we would like to um, settle with you. Because this is how like just straightforward this evidence is against you. Okay? And even this kink of, uh, I don't know if it's a kink of pentacles, kink of wands in a community has something on you. Baby, you are done, 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 done as heck. I'm telling you, you're done. You've been trying to end a queen of cups. What? Offers. You don't want someone giving to this woman. You're intimidated by this woman at your age. You're insecure. And that's what a man sees about you and the people you've been working with. It's a queen of wands around you, sir. And this woman, this queen of swords reverse. I don't think this queen of swords reverse is immediately around you. This is someone at a different, either she's at like a different location or a different level. Uh, I don't know if this is like a company that has different, like multiple locations. You know, like how some car washing, I'm just going to use this as, as an example. Or even like home care, uh hospitals uh like you like you know mcdonald's has different locations and things like that she's at one location a queen of wands is at another location they all pretend like they don't like each other or they don't get along or don't talk or something like that in public they will act like they don't they don't all hang out or something but there's a queen of wands within your vicinity and a queen of swords not around you but you talk to this person in some way shape or form i don't know if this is like some type of emailing some type of texting calling or something like that phone calls they are both working together the queen of pentacles reverse is working with her as well it's like a whole family affair taking place to destroy one feminine energy wants you to see this feminine energy in a in a weird and negative light and this is something you will have picked up on so maybe you've been studying these people for a while they don't want you giving to this woman they're trying to stop you sabotage this offer from being given to this woman they are collaborating someone may even be collaborating uh, uh may have been collaborating with a king of wands for a long time and maybe he's not wanting to. Maybe he's walking away. I don't know what this is. What I just know is this defamation is going to lead to a huge loss. Okay? Uh, there's a king of cups in here that partner up with these people. This woman, this queen of uh, swords reverse. All of these people. And now he's going through some type of uh, uh, poverty. Losing everything. Uh, I don't know if he went and got married for money or something like that. Something was given to him. He settled with someone that he had no business being with. I don't know what this is. The marriage is a failure. It's, a, it's nothing but an illusion. Disingenuine as heck. Someone has been gaslighting him and he's living in fear about some type of impulsive or reckless action he may have taken against your job to keep you what? Bonded. Someone tried to get you to be homeless, trying to get you to lose all of your finances so you could be bonded or strapped or out in the street, broke, busted, and disgusted. People don't care you got kids to take care of nothing. People don't care if you got some type of illness. Your mom has an illness. Grandmammy have an illness. You're taking care of sick people, sick relatives. They didn't care. They, are, they have been sabotaging your work, right? Trying to keep you trapped or something. Get you to lose everything so you can be out in the street homeless. And they're worried because what? You're still balanced. You're still secure. And you are still moving on, taking actions to go for the things that you want in life. Someone is cutting their losses and moving on. And you are protecting yourself. Okay? They could want you to be out here feeling alone and rejected. 
but you are protecting yourself and standing your ground and this is helping justice play out in your favor okay uh i don't know why someone came out with this level of maliciousness because this is bullying this is bullying okay someone has taken something way farther than they should have so for example right for instance if you're working with a company and someone doesn't want you there if you leave their institution, why are they following you around? That's because they've told some type of lie. And they need that lie to stick. So everything you do, God forbid you're on a social media platform and you end up going viral. People find you and, 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 and find out that you're not mentally ill. She can't afford for that to happen is what she says. So she's been going all out to make sure that you are not seen. She's been going all out defaming your character to a lot of people that you don't know. Even people you work with after you will have left this institution, while you're leaving this institution, whatever it is. And I'm talking about friends, families, strangers, foes, people that consider you to be enemies and you don't even know them. She will have or they will have connected with all of them to separate you, isolate you. Okay? And so... If they can do all of this to you and keep you hidden and keep you shut up, then what? She was right that you were what? Mentally ill. Uh-uh. Something is being looked into. Your strength has defeated someone. So you're someone, you're showing up as the ace of swords, which means you're at, you are dangerously sharp. Like you know exactly what is going on, why someone did something, who they told that you were mentally ill, who all was in onto something. Okay, and then you're showing up as the temperance energy. So you are not just sharp, you're freaking in the upright. Your balance is heck. You don't respond to people like you you don't start nothing if nobody starts nothing with you. Don't start no stuff, it won't be no start no uh, stuff. That's what it is. So she would have been doing stuff behind the scenes to temper with your energy if you respond. Then she said, I told you she's she's uh, emotionally unstable, doesn't have control of her emotions. It's a lie. It's a lie. You are out here showing up as the four of pentacles and freaking higher fence. The higher fence wants to come out. You're showing up as a higher fence. That means you have control of your mental, your mind. Okay? You are someone very original, someone very diplomatic. You handle things professionally. You're about to be a queen of swords, like you're about to teach a queen of swords reverse how to actually be a queen of swords upright. You are intuitively guided. Everything they've, they've been doing to you, you know. She's been trying to temper with how you receive communications from the spirit realm. Like someone is very spiteful. Someone is very wicked. Very wicked. But this woman is about to learn a lesson. And when something comes out, she won't be able to return to an institution at all. And that's something she's worried about, too. And that's exactly what's going to happen. She won't be able to return to an institution. You're having wish fulfillment. Things are going out in your favor. Okay? Yeah. The truth is out. All the blockages she's been causing, every time you're supposed to have a new beginning, she'll step in and have someone block it. That's what she's been doing the whole time with the two of swords out here. Blocking wish fulfillment. Just out here... Figuring out ways, manipulative ways to block you from receiving wish fulfillment, block you from receiving assistance, connecting with people, blocking offers for, from you or uh, for you. Someone is just wicked, just wicked, very malicious, very malicious. And she does this on a full-time basis. Someone don't even qualify. Like this is someone that wants people to believe that she qualifies for a position more than you do. So, more than likely, this woman stole a job position from you. You may have been up for a promotion because of your personality. You may not have, maybe you, maybe, maybe you don't have the degree or maybe you didn't have the degree. She would have put a big emphasis on that. I have the degree. I know what I'm doing. Uh, she's very mechanistic. There's no emotions behind what she does, but she knows how to fake the funk. Like, someone is just malicious, spiteful. So, because she didn't want you... In a position, she would have lied and said that you were mentally ill. And she got a queen of wands to work for her, work with her. Queen of swords, as queen of swords reversed. Queen of pentacles reversed to so work with her. The queen of pentacles reversed is just a reckless person. Reckless. Right? 
very reckless. I see a woman that just, she walks around very fast, loses her temper easily, very reckless with how she talks to people, is very determined to prove that she's in control, she's the boss or whatever. Like someone is very reckless. She wants people to believe that she's in charge, she's business savvy, and none of the above. Someone is just very greedy and financially motivated. It's like a whole pack of insecure women came together to destroy the actual secure person. And they've been doing it for so long, they don't got so comfortable in it that they think they got away with it. You ain't get away with nothing. It's evidence out on you. All of you are done. Like, I don't think someone understands how bad something has gotten. The fact that she's still telling someone to keep doing something. That means she doesn't understand the, 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 the magnitude of the problem. She's going to keep telling someone, keep doing it, keep doing it. This is how you, no, keep going, keep going. And she don't realize all of that, keep going, keep going, is going to come back to backfire her. Someone is about to seem so unhinged in a community, it won't even make sense unhinged she's still paying people to invade your privacy temper with your investment block you from being able to meet with someone block you from receiving offers from other people people investing into you a whole collaboration going on coming up with plans on how to what stop a queen of cups from having a new opportunity a brand new passionate beginning or something offers relocating whatever this is all of your plans to succeed in life she's been tempering with it and someone is able to temper with your plans because they've been invading your privacy invading your privacy and baby when i say she's afraid of you being in this institution or you receiving some type of ace of pentacles ten of pentacles kind of lifestyle baby she is so worried i said ace of pentacles right there Destiny is going to be playing out for you. And this woman is afraid. Okay? Afraid. Nine of freaking ones, ten of pentacles, and what? Wheel of fortune by the freaking ace of pentacles. Destiny is playing out. She's afraid of you receiving a position, being part of this community, uh, and something being balanced out for you. You receiving an ace of pentacles offer, which is from the most high, which means it's something that's destined for you. That's not something she can block. Basically, it's a woman trying to tell people you don't belong in an institution, but the whole time she doesn't belong there. So it's that everybody she's telling that you don't belong in an institution, they're going to start seeing her as the problem because she's the only one that really has a problem with you. And when people think back, they'll realize their way. All this problem started when she started talking to us about this person, trying to set something up to look like what it was not. She told us this person was mentally ill, so we started having problems with this person, but this person never did anything to us. This could be like people even starting to realize, oh, you're not mentally retarded. You ain't dumb after all. Like, no, someone is not dumb. Like, it's a woman that told you someone was dumb. Like, listen, the past few months, I've been trying to figure out what this madness has to do with you. So I tried to kind of just drop this whole thing. This is what it has to do with. And I'm guessing this is why Source wanted me to keep going. It's a woman that defames someone in a community and she's been doing a whole lot behind the scenes to block someone's voice, block someone's uh, appearance, block offers for someone, block your image. Don't want people to see you as someone that is huge and self-master. Partner up with all bunch of people behind the scenes so that they can help farther this disingenuine narrative that you are mentally ill and not worth working with, not worth a position disqualified for a position or unqualified for a position whole time she likes the skills for that position she may be there trying to act like she's the one that can bring everybody together does not have the interpersonal communication skills to even do that and this is why she envies you this is why she dislikes you because you're younger than this person and you got all of that going on your accomplishments in life bothers this woman people like you should not be this established in life so she feels like people like you have their place you don't go above that place okay that's all it has to do with someone defaming you making it seem like you're something you're not and when i say this woman is afraid of you being in this institution someone cannot get no sleep Someone may even be sick and she's still telling another person, keep going, keep destroying them, keep destroying their life, keep destroying their family. 
because that's all they're doing at the end of the day. She's paying someone to destroy your foundation. If you have children, it's affecting those children. If you have a husband, it's affecting him. If you have a domestic partner, it's affecting uh, him as well. But she's telling someone to keep going. It's that keep going. This is what you do. This is how you do it. Uh, this is when, like, someone is very wicked. Very wicked. And whoever she's been paying is in hot waters with her. It's like it don't matter how many times you all try to erase something, there's evidence on you. You didn't erase it quick enough. So whoever this man is that she's paying or woman is that she's paying to keep doing something. And I keep getting like a computer system because I keep getting these flashes of someone sitting and doing something in a computer system. In like a, 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 I don't know if it's like email, just some type of accounts online it said keep going and it said don't keep going like you are sabotaging yourself you're monitoring yourself for someone that's just wicked and insecure someone very manipulative knows how to use words to get what she wants someone has like i don't know what how much money they gave you what they told you about someone else you may want to drop something <clears throat> and whoever the ex is from this divine feminist past baby <laughs> Bro's about to lose ever. Oh, Lord, I said everything. He's about to lose everything. And that's karma playing out for him. I keep seeing this in my reads. The Five of Pentacles with a King of Cups. And the King of Cups is from your past. He's losing everything. If there's another malicious King of Cups in this situation, you're losing everything. Is there some type of karma playing out for these people? Someone's karma is so horrible. That when you see them, even you are going to feel sorry for them. And this person knows what's coming for them. And they're living in fear. Because now they want to come to worship and give you some type of offer. But you ain't interested. Whatever karma is about to play out for your ex. And this is a man I'm picking up on. Whatever karma is about to play out for him. It is nothing to even laugh about. It's not nothing. Baby, this is not something you will wish on your worst enemy in the world. Like, someone is about to lose everything. Let like go from living this Vita Loca, feeling like they got one over you. They partner up with a Queen of Wands or something. Their Queen of Wands is more beautiful. And they're finding out it is not so. They thought someone was better than you. It's not so. I don't know if she went and got this man caught up on some type of drugs or something. Or he, she got him addicted to some type of low vibrational activity. Baby, this man is in some type of limbo or is about to be in some type of limbo. When you see him, you're going to be afraid to even approach him or have him approach you. Because someone is about to be broke, busted, disgusted, living in destitute. to the very thing they try to manifest for you with this toxic queen of swords reverse. This woman paid this man to turn his back on you. It could have been an entire institution that paid. And I don't mean like the grander institution. I mean the code that was created within this institution. They paid this man to turn his back on you. And he did just that. And it's about to end hor man, horribly for this man. And he's heartbroken. In despair. Don't want to watch you partner up with someone else but that's exactly what's about to happen you're about to partner up with someone you got a contract coming in and it's a big yes from the universe baby i don't know what to tell these people but they sure made a bad for themselves they got to lay in and they sure duck a grave for themselves that they're gonna have to lay in ain't nobody gonna lay in your bed that you made ain't nobody gonna lay in the graves that you duck the truth is out that you all have been causing conflict Coming up with new plans on how to cause blockages and stagnations for someone. Okay, all you do is rituals. This is a ritual. Because you got to gather people up to do something. It's a ritual. You got to do something a, a specific way. You got to do something meticulously so you can get the outcome that you want in a very dark way. It's ritual. Manipulation is a ritual. Lying on people is a ritual. Defamation is a ritual. Maybe you all don't see it that way. But you are performing a ritual, a dark ritual on someone innocent. Because the person you are t attacking is showing up as a temperance card. Ace of Swords, temperance. Ace of Cups. Okay, Ten of Cups out here. The Magician, Four of Wands, Judgment. Okay, 
you you came up again you destroy or try to destroy someone innocent basically at the end of the day is what i'm being told to tell you someone ain't mentally ill and even if they were mentally ill that does not give you all the right to do what it is you've been doing as a matter of fact, if someone was mentally ill, if you all had two senses to rub together, that will that will tell you to look out for that person to make sure that something does not, like someone doesn't get taken advantage of. Uh, that's why usually people will call me sense or some type of emotional state or emotional, uh, 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 I don't know. People with emotions, people that care, people that are compassionate, that is what they do. Like for me, example, if I meet someone that has a, 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 a mental illness, I feel like I need to look out for them. Make sure no one is taking advantage of them. You ain't about to do them no kind of funny way while I'm around. When I'm not around and you get away with it, okay, I'm not there to do anything. But if I'm there and you're doing something to someone that's mentally ill or not able to talk for themselves, you got me effed up in one in too many ways. You best believe I'm about to hand you a piece of mine and I'm about to put you in your place. I'm not tolerating that. These kind of people, I don't know how much money they were offered. But you may want to think about this. Think twice. Queen of Pentacles, whatever you've been doing, you may want to take some type of new direction because what I'm hearing is you're not doing well financially already. You're scared to lose a lot, but you're still out here trying to destroy, trying to sabotage someone's independence and their comfort in life, and you ain't that comfortable in life either. You may want to rethink your alliances and rethink something because it's about to backfire horribly. You're about to, like a whole group of people will be terminated from an organization. This is how bad it's about to get. And it don't matter how many times you tell this man to keep going with something, keep destroying something, your destiny is showing that you are losing everything. You're all about to be in a stalemate because the truth is out. In a stalemate, not hiring. You ever like went to apply for 10,000 jobs and every job told you they're not hiring even though they got an ad out on Indeed or uh, 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 Monsters or Zip Recruiter telling you that they are hiring and you go and apply to them and you may have the qualifications for that job and they will tell you they're not hiring, closing their doors in front of you. That's what it's about to be with this Five of Pentacles. Someone's about to lose, a group of people are about to lose their jobs can't find no job, about to be blacklisted because of something they did. The company you're about to cost money is going to be absolutely pissed off. They will be the one to blacklist you, and they will do it from behind the scenes. You know that real meticulous tactic you use on this Queen of Wands upright, uh, this Empress Energy upright, Queen of Cups upright, that very conniving, bullying energy you use to try to destroy them from behind the scenes. That's the very tactic that's going to be used on you. You're going to go to an organization and ask if they're hiring. They'll say not hiring, even though there's a sign right there that said, we are hiring. Baby, it's going to get so bad, you may end up washing dishes just to make ends meet. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You don't got enough money to last through this karma that's coming for you. And the most high has it set up just like that. Because you may have some money in your pocket right now where you feel like, oh, I can get through it. No, you ain't going to get through it. They're going to make sure your, all of your finances are depleted. You are going to know what poverty is because that's what you try to do to someone. And while you and your minions, your partner partners in crimes are doing that, whoever you've been trying to destroy will be having a new beginning and collaborating with new people. Okay? There's something I'm hearing about how you may have given a position to someone that helped you. A queen of wands reverse in your community. You gave them a position because they helped you defend someone. This is someone that knows everyone in the community. It's easy. Like she's, it's kind of like a liaison, but she's not a liaison. This is like a, I don't want to say lower level employee. This is like a lower level employee that is easy for her to talk to everybody. She's been in the company for a long time, over 10, over 17, over 20 years in a company. And everybody knows her. And this is the person you use to destroy another woman. This is someone that works very hard though. And I don't know why she partook in something like this, but she's very hardworking. This is someone that works 24-7. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, I'm picking up on, or this could be a Queen of Cups reverse. She's very hardworking, but I don't know why she participated in this thing for some type of position. She don't even want the position that she uh, uh, was was wanting before. What she did to work for, she don't want it no more. I don't know if she was expecting to get another position, and she never got the position. 
You see how God works? Someone trying to destroy you, take you out of a position so that it can go to them and they, they don't receive it. There's a couple in here as well. They were promised something. They did something really horrendous. They did something really horrendous to a queen of wands in the upright. You are the, listen, queen of wands upright, queen of swords upright, queen of cups upright, queen of pentacles upright. You are all of those uh, collectives. You're basically an empress. So I'm just going to say empress. There's a couple out here that God promised something that they will receive some type of abundance if they did you something. They didn't receive nothing. Nothing. So it said, we did all these malicious things to this person for no reason. We didn't get no abundance. They're under judgment, standing to lose everything. May end up separating because something is about to get so bad. Like they're about to be over because of what they participated in. I don't know what this is, but you got to do better in life. Why would you all want to come out and defame someone? What does the person's mental got to do with you? If you don't want someone having a position, just say that. Say, I don't think she should have this position. She, she's too young for this position. She's too uh, new to this company. I've been in this company however many years, 40 years. I don't think they should have this promotion. I'm offended or whatever. Talk to the person. Talk to the boss. Talk to the owner. You've been there for however many years, 40 years or whatever. They'll listen to you. It's like, I think I should have this position. I've been here long enough. I'm not really happy in the position that I'm in. But to go to the far extent of destroying someone, defaming them so that they're not seen or considered for a position, you're wicked. You're weak. You're insecure. You stole a position. It's what I'm being told. You stole something. And you're about to lose everything. You're about to lose everything. You feel so important. You're about to lose everything. Man. And she's still wanting to come out and go pay a couple to do something. Block someone's wish fulfillment. It ain't happening. Like this woman, it, someone is clueless. Someone's mental is not where it's supposed to be. Like someone, all they see is hatred. Even the people they're working with, they don't like them. Could even be paying a black man to do something and he keeps doing it. Don't like him. Because of his color. Feels like she's better than him. And they're still out here. I don't know if he's just doing something for money. But this woman don't like you. It has to be about money for you. Like you're doing all, all, uh, all work for money. What? And this is the problem in our community. We are quick to accept bribery to destroy each other. But we all want to be quick to say, oh, the black community, people are destroyed. The destroying the black community you know those people those white folks don't like us and stuff they've been dis no you're destroying your own communities because you're quick to take bribery to do anything to people to your own kind someone is being bribed the people within this community as well these black folks within this community are being bribed to destroy their own kind so you're destroying your own community it's a whole lot of like this distortion confusion that's all it is because this queen of swords reversed that don't like them in the first place. Don't want to tell them that one of their kind was the problem. And it ain't the truth. But it's a man, a father figure, or a boss. Someone has been paying to do something to a feminine energy for a long time. And she wants him to keep going. And I don't know if he doesn't realize the, the end is here. Like this woman is about to cause an institution a lot of money. And your name is going to come up in something. And I don't know if you're someone that put yourself out there to be something you're not or you have been seen as a pillar of your community for a long time or something. Your name is going to come up. You may want to distance yourself from this woman. Your name is going to come up. Working hard to block someone, keep someone from a contract, something on offer in an institution. An institution wants to work with someone and they've been working hard to keep this contract. Hitting, block this contract from you. And something is legal. It's about to be legal if it ain't already. I mean, just narcissistic. Trying to sabotage an offer. This is all it has to do with. Trying to stop this offer. Sabotage this offer from being given to you. Because once it comes to you, you know how to turn it into an ace of pentacles. And that's what they don't want happening. They don't want you in an ace of pentacles energy. They don't want someone sharing with you. And the whole group is coming to an end. Everything you've been plotting and working on is coming to an end. It's a lot of arguing and fighting going on behind the scenes. Could be a, 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 a 
a king of swords that has been being paid to do something. Stop you, cause a tower for you, in you, from being seen. Okay? Baby, I don't know what this is. You're all going to have to cut your losses and move on. Because this kind of stuff, this is like a, 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 a movie material. Because this kind of stuff should not, be ha should not be happening in real life. This is like... This is like one of those Twilight Zoom kind of things. It's like it's unrealistic. You can't talk. If you're the one going through it and they're coming after you and you know they're coming after you, you can't even talk to anyone about it because it just seems so surreal. Like it's supernatural. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, she thinks someone is after her. Someone is doing something to her in the system. She thinks someone left the company to come over here and talk to someone else and tell them that she was a bad person, that she is mentally ill or something. Like, it's it, it's supernatural, but it's something. Like, there's evidence about it. So, it's like, people can't refute it. People can't say, oh, it's not true or she's crazy because there's truth out about it. Whoever you, you could be a guy that I'm talking to, but whatever this is, there's proof. That people have been doing something to you behind the scenes. These are people that have been bullying you from behind the scenes because they never thought it would come out. They've done this before. Oh, they've done this many, many times before. And this Queen of Swords is typically the one that's in that's ahead of the destroy you from behind the scenes squad. Bully you from behind the scenes squad. Been doing it for a long time. Someone has been in a in an institution for a long time since she was like a teenager or something. Yeah, they have a whole clique, a whole cult-like mentality. It's a whole cult. And she don't left the institution, went to another community. I don't know if this is the head of a community that she has doing something. How are you going to be a boss and be an employee at the same time to a whole different person? How are you going to have your own company and then be working as an employee for someone that don't even have a company? You got to make it make sense. You, are you a boss or are you an employee? Which one is it? There, are, There's a difference. Now, you can be a boss and be humble and grounded with your employees, but this is not what I'm picking up on. Whoever this man is I'm picking up on, this is not someone that's grounded or humble. This is someone that doesn't even want to have to interact with this with his employees because he feels like he's better than them. But when people see him, he acts like he's down to earth. Like, whatever task you've taken on is leading to your destruction. You may want to separate yourself from this Queen of Swords reverse. That's all I'm telling you. Like, make that decision and walk away because I don't know if you're afraid of something coming out, but by you keeping something up, it's exactly what it's going to lead to. You being exposed. You being exposed. You may want to save your aunt now and leave her out in the cold because you're self-sabotaging every moment that you're choosing to work with this woman. It don't make no sense to be this way, people. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense, okay? They're mad because the King of Pentacles is balancing something out or wanting to balance something out. Maybe that's his choice. I'm telling you. He wants to balance. He's advocating. Or, I don't know who this man is, but the fact that he knows the truth, it got these people worried. They're not able to manipulate him. This man is too practical. Like, he's too, like, someone is too balanced. He's shown up as the magician to the king of pentacles. Someone is too grounded, too balanced, too self-mastered. Like, he has control of the situation. He has the upper hand. And if they don't want you to know that, you do, Queen, King of Pentacles. You have the upper hand in a situation. I'm not talking about the King of Pentacles reverse or the King of Swords that's been helping this woman destroy someone from behind the scenes. King of Pentacles upright. The person is self-master. You have self, like your self-esteem is very high is what I'm picking up on. You're very uh, business savvy. You know how to manage people, things of that nature. You, ha you have the upper hand. Okay, you have the upper hand in a situation. I'm telling you, you have the upper hand. You're someone that's very good at managing people with this Ten of Pentacles out here. You're very disciplined. You're very structured, uh, very down to earth and things of that nature. You could be family oriented, whatever this is. But don't let these people try to manipulate you because this is all they do. The truth is out. They've been trying to manipulate you. You're looking into something. You may be trying to communicate with someone. If you can't get a hold of them, it's because there's some type of interference behind the scenes. 
It's not because someone is ignoring you. Someone doesn't want to talk to you. There's some type of interference going on behind the scenes. I'm telling you, whoever this King of Cups is from your past, maybe he got in some type of relationship. He feels binded in right here. This man may have gotten married to someone. Uh-huh. Maybe he was promised some type of abundance. And now he feels trapped in that union. Can't get out of it. Can't get out of it. <clears throat> Maybe trying to communicate with you. Ask you for help or something. You can't help him. You said you remember you were trying to destroy the light worker, the Empress energy? How are they supposed to help you now? Oh. Yeah, he's trapped. Oh, baby, he's stuck, stuck. Someone is stuck, trapped in an unhappy marriage or relationship. Whoever he's with is bad as ish, IT crazy, and obsessed with you. They've been paying to have you trapped, have you binded, have you stuck. Want you to self sabotage yourself, destroy yourself, either with words or, or actions, and it ain't happening. Baby, I don't know what this is, but whoever your ex is, baby. Somebody needs to pray for him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Baby. Ooh. <clears throat> and there's this. Yeah. Father. Worry. Just worry. The whole community, the whole group that got involved in this, they're worried. Just trying to stop you, block you, destroy you for no reason. Some of these people don't even know why they're coming towards you. They're worried because someone is coming towards you anyways. I'm telling you. It said, it's like someone wanting to be friends with you. And they're telling him, don't do it. But he knows the truth. A prophecy is playing out. Okay, he's taking action to balance something out. It's like someone wants to, wants to come towards you to give you an offer of friendship. They don't want him doing that. Okay, they want him to turn his back on you. They want him to reject you. They don't feel like you're worthy because I guess it's their place to decide. They don't even know who they are, but they have a place to decide who someone else can be, what someone else can have. These are all insecure women. Uh-huh. Just, I, I don't know what the heck this kind of energy is. This is a different level of evil. This is a different level of jealousy. This is a different level of insecurity. Uh, everybody deals with some type of insecurity, but the ticket to this is to defame someone to a, a whole community and then leave that community and go to another community to do the same thing. Leave that community, go to another community to do a same thing just so that the narrative can be consistent. It is sad. It's pathetic as heck. And that's what this man is seeing about this Queen of Swords reverse. <clears throat> this is what he's seeing about this Queen of Swords reverse. He's going to see it about this Queen of Wands reverse. Maybe he's even in denial that this Queen of Wands is working with this Queen of Swords reverse. They're all working together. You, you, you ain't crazy, sir. They're all working together. Working together. Okay. I think a, excuse me. I think a King of Cups tried to contact you to warn you about some type of betrayal about who you are. And they tried to stop him. And he's still determined to do something. But maybe that wherever that brother is, that's his fun. He's trapped. He's stuck. Maybe don't want from the five of pentacles to the eight of swords. Oh. I tell you, karma got a way of humbling people. Because they'll let you do something for a long time. You get comfortable doing it. You think you have, to, you have the upper hand. Whoever you're doing it to is irrelevant and insignificant. Only for you to find out. Maybe the, the powers that be ask with that person on a 24-7 basis. And they have been giving you chances to take a different route. Take a different path. Leave that person the mother F alone. Okay? Uh, and you say you're going to keep going. You're going to see for yourself. So whoever this King of Cups is, this will be a King of Cups reverse. You're about to find out for yourself. You're going to see for yourself. You're losing, baby. Whoever you picked and went and got married to, <laughs> nightmare, nightmare. And the person he's married to is obsessed with the Empress energy, the divine being. It don't make no sense. This woman wants to be you. 
She's asking this man, how did this empress do this so I can do it the same way? Uh, just trying to copy your personality. Funny thing is, this man don't know you well enough to even teach her how to be you. Because this would have been someone when you were with them, period. You know mine with the five of pentacles out here. Rejected your offers. Ace of, Ace of, Pent uh, Ace of Cups to the five of cups. I mean the four of cups, excuse me. I ain't had my morning meal yet. It's too early to be doing this. It's about 6 a.m. where I am or 7 something, but it's too early. Ace of Cups to the Four of Cups. Whatever offer you get to this man, he rejected. And you weren't with this person for a short term. I'm, I'm hearing years. Three years, five years, ten years, eight years, seven, whatever, six, seven years, 20 years. He rejected your offer. This is someone that this is a narcissist is what I'm picking up on. You know, when you show a narcissist affection, instead of them reciprocating that affection, no, they get a big head. They want to prove that you love them, even though they don't love you. But the whole time this person had emotions for you, rejected you, went and got with a queen of wands reverse. And now he's finding out, oh, I effed up. You sure did royally. Can't come back to you. Trying to come back to you. <clears throat> Trying to take action to uh, block someone else from coming to you. This family paid their king of cups to turn his back on you. And he took the bribery. He may have even helped them steal something from you, block you from getting something. They paid him. They paid him. They came to him as a friend. May have even lied to him and said that you betrayed him. You didn't betray this man. They said, oh yeah, she's been cheating on you. Never cheated on him. You you went to work every day, did your job, and left those people where they were. He said, I'll be seeing you all tomorrow now. That's it. Didn't communicate with nobody if it ain't had nothing to do with business. Nothing. But maybe they told him that you cheated on him or something, and he took it uh, at face value, even though he knew you longer or something. I don't know what this is. Maybe he had already been a part of the cult, and you didn't know it. Whatever it is, maybe he's finding out the hard way. He did a number on himself and nobody's coming to save him just like nobody came to save you it could also be that he was even telling people not to help you and something is backfiring ain't nobody gonna be there to help him uh, this sweetheart here queen of swords reverse baby ain't nobody gonna help you that institution when you cost them their money baby oh karma is a mother effer just about to lose everything the fact that you kept saying keep going, keep going, keep going, that's the that, that's the one that that, lo that judge is going to look at. He said, you said what now? Yeah, she told me to keep going, so I had to keep going. You didn't have to keep going. Uh, she paid me to do a job. Uh, you, you consider this a job? Yeah. And that judge is going to be looking at you both like the morons that you are. He said, what? She paid you to do what? And you kept doing it? And you actually took the money? Yeah, ain't no lawyer gonna be able to help you. They can't help you. I see like a man, I see someone going to a lawyer and telling them, can you please help me with this? And he looks at the paper, reads the content on that paper. He said, I can't help you. Like about to go to a whole lot of different lawyers and they're gonna tell her the same thing. I can't help you, okay? You can't even find a lawyer in advance. He's gonna tell you it's best for you to settle because whatever you did, baby, it's unmissable. It's not something that you can just uh, maneuver your way out of, finagle your way out of. You can't put your charm on Queen of Swords reverse. You can't come to this Empress energy and say, I, I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. They don't give two Fs about your sorries. Someone is about to teach you how to be a King of Swords, I mean, a Queen of Swords in the upright. I said King of Swords, so that means you carry yourself as a masculine energy. You act like a man. And you're working with a king of swords too. But someone is going to teach you how to be a queen of swords in the upright. Like this chess move here. Baby, this chess move here is the one that's going to outdo you. Some people, you got to do a whole lot of bang, 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 bang to make a move. Okay? But then there are certain people that they just got to do bang. And you're done. Whoever you've been working with, whether it's a King of Pentacles reverse or King of Swords reverse, he's been trying to dismantle someone and he had a whole plan. He said, I got this. He made you a promise, right? He made you a promise. I, I keep seeing the three of, Pentac uh, three of Pentacles, yes. 
He made you a promise that he was going to trap, bind, and destroy someone. Keep them strapped. Keep, take everything from them. Dismantle their foundation. Y'all didn't care if the person had kids to take care of. Not Nothing. Don't give two Fs. Still don't care. He made you a promise that he was going to take care of it. I promise you, I'm going to destroy her. I promise you, I'm going to make sure I shut her down. I promise you, she'll never be seen. I promise you, she'll never be heard. I promise you, I'm going to bind her. I'm going to stop her. I'm going to destroy her. And he's been going along with it. And just like he's promising, the universe wants you to know, sir, they promise that you are going to be exposed and done for. You're going to be sued and you're going to have to, like someone, whoever you're coming after is about to be your boss. Okay? About to be your boss. That's what's about to happen. So you can keep going like she's telling you to. Ain't nobody going to stop you. You do something from behind the scenes anyways. Your workers don't know what you do. You do all jobs for favor. Okay? All jobs. All kinds of weird things. This ain't the first time you've done something like this. If, if there's something you didn't know how to do that she wanted you to do, what did you do? You ain't learned how to do it. You've been learning systems. Every new system that someone has access, access to, you learn that system, how to destroy that person's account. And this mean, malicious, wicked, and insecure woman has been telling you to keep going. And you say, oh, yeah, I got you. I promise you I'm going to take care of this. I promise you. Like some type of just wicked, wickedness is what this is. Wickedness. Vile. Like just foul. And people like this are the reason why the world is the way it is. People like this are the reason why families are not families anymore. People like this are the reasons why communities are not communities anymore because they're just wicked. Just like empathy. Don't care about anyone but themselves. But then when something backfires on them, they want you to uh, uh, consider them. They want you to feel sorry for them. They want you to have empathy. You you mean you want me to have empathy for you and you don't even have an empathy gene in your body? Do you even know what empathy is? Because you don't resonate with that frequency. So now you want me to have it for you? Whatever you've got in yourself, insert, you may want to throw in the tower and walk away because something is about to undo you. Whoever you are helping, I don't know how much they pay you again. She could have paid you a hefty amount. Let it go. Because you are literally securing your own ending. And there's somebody behind the scenes aware of what you all have been doing. And don't give two Fs about exposing you all and balancing the situation out. That man don't care. He don't care at all. And there's nothing you all can do to him. This could be a woman as well. You know energy is fluid in tarot. That man do not care because he sees you all exactly for what you are. You all got so, like, you just got comfortable doing something. He said, oh, everybody's in on it. We're going to destroy this, 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 uh, earth angel, empress energy. We're going to destroy them. Don't worry about it. Not knowing the whole time. Not everybody you can manipulate. Someone is upset they're not able to manipulate an energy within an institution. Someone is self-minded. He's an individual. He's not in the matrix. He's showing up as a magician to the king of pentacles. Someone is not in the matrix. He is in control of his own destiny. Of his own path. This person makes the decisions in his life. He don't owe nobody a goddamn thing. He don't owe you his loyalty. Maybe he was loyal to you people before or he was just considerate of you all before. But then he has everything he needed to get from the situation. Okay. And they are so worried about him coming towards you or her coming towards you, whoever this is. But baby, destiny is playing out. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Stay blessed. i see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.